Good morning everyone and welcome back to another week in my life here in New York City. If this is your first time on my channel, hey, my name is Cameron and I am a finance professional here in New York. This week's vlog is going to start off with a bang I'm very excited about today. I've already had a very productive morning. I woke up nice and early, reviewed my practice GMAT exam, also went to the gym, came back, showered, and now I'm ready to go to the office. But more importantly, later on today, I'm actually heading up to Columbia University to speak to a class. Now, if you asked me this a week ago, I certainly would have thought I'd be a student in the class prior to being the one talking, but here we are. The opportunity came about last week when I was at the LinkedIn headquarters for an event for Community Top Voices. I happened to sit down next to someone, we had an amazing conversation, and it turned out she was a professor at Columbia and someone uh, who was gonna speak to her class dropped out last minute. And I talked about how I had been a creator and she thought I was the perfect person to come in and fill that spot. And yeah, I'm just so excited. It's such a surreal experience and opportunity and I just can't believe it's happening to me. So definitely looking forward to bringing you along for that. But with that said, it's time to head to the office, so let's go. Also, I need to give a quick shout out to Myrkovist for providing the footwear for today. I got these shoes about two weeks ago, but it's been absolutely ugly here in New York ever since they came in, and I didn't want to wear them out in the rain. So looking forward to wearing this fresh pair of loafers. I think they look great, and yeah, just make me feel extra special uh, for this exciting day. If you want to check them out and get a pair for yourself, the link will be down below in the description. Once I finished up my work for the day, I headed to Grand Central to go north to Columbia, and it was a beautiful day on campus. I was definitely extremely nervous beforehand, but uh, I think I was able to get over it okay. I'll let you see this clip. In terms of the first backgrounds, I currently work uh, at JP Morgan within their investment bank, so that's a lot of fun. Got to do really exciting things with the best companies in the world. But prior to that, I worked in consulting at KPMG. Um, my group was within financial services still, but it was regulatory compliance risk. So the of mine is, like I said, I, I connect with who I was two years ago and what would have been helpful and valuable for me two years ago. And you know, no one knows me two years ago. I focused my speech on the content strategy of my YouTube channel. The class was great. They were super engaged, asked some amazing questions. And then in between the classes, because I spoke at two different classes, I was able to walk around campus, grab a bite, and really just take in the sights. I think Columbia is so cool because it has really its own campus feel, although it is still in Manhattan. Uh, but you can see here, it is just a beautiful campus, very historic, and then finished up the night just getting dinner with Maddie. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's now Thursday. Um, sorry for skipping ahead, but didn't really do much the last two days. Just a lot of early mornings and late nights uh, grinding away. Today is Thursday. There's actually a conference that I'm going to through JP Morgan at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. So some cool speakers there, really looking forward to that. I need to head there now and I will check in with you later. So like I said, this event was at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, and it was a huge event. It was part of Leadership Day for JP Morgan. Um, so there were a lot of people invited from all over the country to listen to leadership from JP Morgan, as well as some really famous leaders talk. Uh, here is Naomi Osaka, the, the former tennis player. So it was interesting to listen to her thoughts on leadership and how she approaches her life. Then, of course, I had plenty of work to still do, so I was able to get out and get that work done. And then obviously here is Jamie talking. Um, and yeah, it was just always a great time to go to these things, learn something new, and meet some other uh, creative and ambitious people. So that was Thursday and really enjoyed it. And that brings us to Friday. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's now Friday around noon. This morning, I worked from home, but I'm actually about to head to the office just because I kind of want to. Um, I just work better from the office, and I think I get distracted too easily uh, working from home. Also, just realistically want to get out, walk around a little bit, uh, get my coffee. So if I'm already doing that, I might as well go into the office. But with that said, today is a little bit of a slower day at work, which is nice because uh, it's been a very hectic week. But I also have a few networking calls today, so 
looking forward to doing that. I'm also grabbing coffee with someone who reached out to me. So that is always a lot of fun. That's what makes all of this super worth it and why it's so great to live in New York where so many people are and visiting. So that is what's on tap for the day. Don't really have any plans for tonight. So I guess we'll just see where the wind blows us. But with that said, let's head to the office. Hey, what's up everyone? It's now Saturday around 4 p.m. I've had a productive day so far, but nothing too eventful for the vlog. I woke up nice and early, got my GMAT stuff done, also did my laundry, so felt good to get that out of the way. And then I've really just been relaxing. I've just unfortunately watched Texas lose to Oklahoma in football, but I did get this package of books in the mail. If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you know I'm a big reader. And something that I've been doing the last year or so is that after I finish a book, typically I'm listening to it uh, via an audiobook or on a Kindle, I then go on eBay and buy it. Yes, I live in New York now and my space is relatively limited, but I still have plenty of books. But the goal in the future is to have a nice big library in my home with all the books I've read. So I've really enjoyed being able to buy the books at a very discounted price on eBay for those books that I've already read, um, just so that I can always reference them and kind of just have a memento uh, for what I've learned. So today I got eight of those books in the mail and I just wanted to walk through what each of these are. So Cult of We, this is uh, about the rise and demise of WeWork. So definitely interesting book. I uh, wanted to dive deeper into this after um, the We Crashed show on Apple TV, really enjoyed that. Then Valley of the Gods is just kind of an overview of Silicon Valley. So a pretty short book, but pretty good nonetheless. Then kind of switching directions, uh, Spare by Prince Harry. I listened to this on audiobook and it was really interesting. I didn't know too much about the royal family and all the drama there, but um, yeah, definitely an interesting uh, listen. Then The Contrarian, this is all about uh, the background of Peter Thiel. Honestly, didn't know too much about him or his origin, so was certainly very educational and kind of cut off at a weird point just because he's still so relevant and this book came out like a year ago. So I have a feeling there will be plenty more books about him in the future. Then A-List Angels, this is another quicker book um, just talking about celebrities, athletes, and some of their angel investments that have worked out. Then The Great Crash of 1929, this is written actually by John Kenneth Galbraith. So shout out to Someone who has the same last name as me, unfortunately, I don't think we're directly related. It's not like he's my great-grandfather, but we have to be related somehow. So read this a while back and wanted to get a book for that. And then finally, the only two fiction books are The Circle. Read this a while ago this year, a, a longer book. Kind of dystopian and a bit spooky with everything going on in the world right now with AI. Then this final book is The Every, which is the sequel to The Circle. I'm actually still working through this one uh, on my Kindle right now, but yeah, wanted to walk through all of those books. I know that was a lot, but I really like being able to buy these books, have them in my room, because I've seen and I've realized that that helps me remember things a little bit more if I actually see it. Whereas, you know, if I just listen to it on an app and then, you know, return the book or whatever, it's not really front of mind. But here, if I'm walking past it, on my bookshelf every day, it's gonna be a little bit more uh, front of mind, a little bit more relevant. So that's why I do that. And again, like all of this cost me like 30 bucks because on eBay, it's just all so cheap. So yeah, with that said, probably not much else is gonna happen the rest of the day. It's been kind of gloomy outside, kind of ugly, but hoping to at least walk around a little bit, maybe grab some dinner later. So if I do that, I will bring you along for the ride. Hey, what's up everyone? It's now noon on Sunday. I woke up nice and early this morning and got another GMAT practice exam done. Honestly, feeling okay about it. I got, unfortunately, the exact same score as last week. So overall, the percentile didn't change, still an 80th percentile, which is, is fine. Want to get that up, but the percentiles for each section did vary this time. Um, starting off with the positive, the verbal reasoning section now went up to a 98th percentile, which is 
fantastic. Um, feel really good about that. Really confident about my ability to tackle the verbal section. Then data insights dropped four points to an 86th percentile, which was kind of expected because it was just a little bit, the section felt a little bit harder than it did last week. And then finally, the quant section dropped to a 40th percentile, which is very defeating um, since I feel like this is all I'm working on, the quant. Um, so yeah, I'm really just going to refine kind of how I practice this next week. Honestly, this section of the exam today just felt so much harder. I think I got really unlucky with just the concepts that did come up. It was concepts I wasn't as comfortable with. So really hoping to just get more comfortable, get more confident moving forward and get those scores up because with such a high verbal score and a high data insight score, you know, if I can just get the quants up to a 50, 60, 70 percentile, you know, I'd be scoring an, an elite range. So really just need to make sure to, to, to practice a little bit more concisely, more intentionally this next week. And yeah, I will continue to keep you guys updated. Fortunately, I still have four more practice exams to go. So I will be able to see kind of my improvement each week. And hopefully it is an improvement uh, each week. So with that said, uh, really happy to have wrapped that up. Now I have the rest of the day to myself uh, to relax and get some other fun things done. So I have the other vlog going out in a little bit. Then I'm just going to work on some other YouTube videos and just take advantage of this nice day. Yesterday was very gloomy, but today is beautiful outside. So looking forward to getting out and about in the cooler New York City air today. So let's go.